Oh, careful. Don't you live up here? Yeah. Daddy, look at the lake. There's a lake. We are here at Estes Park, and this is the east portal of the Alva B. Adams okay. Tunnel, which takes water from the western slope that's fed from the Colorado River, empties over into Shadow Mountain Lake, and then Grand Lake, and then it goes through a tunnel system 13 miles through the mountains, through the Continental Divide, and it arrives over here. So you can see the water coming out of the portal down there. And then it empties them to this reservoir. This is like a holding reservoir. So this is the exit point where the water leaves this holding reservoir. And heads down to Mary's Lake, which we'll head to next. Careful here. There's another... Um, There's another outflow area right over there, but we can't get over there, so can't get up close to it. But this is the portal back there. This is one of the outflows down here. This is like an overflow. And then there's two channels probably to send the water to different locations. I know one of them is Mary's Lake and then to uh, Lake Aztez and then we'll head over there and check out those two locations. Look at that, right there behind you. Oh yeah, we can walk over here. Oh, we found a little spot. I think you can walk over here and get a view. Oh, listen to this. You can hear the water flowing underneath here. Oh, wow, look. Well, that's pretty cool. Don't go too close to that. You go bye bye. Yeah, that water is moving fast, heading out of here to Mary's Lake. All right, here's the uh, the first intake. No, you don't want to go in there because you won't come back. Okay, see the sign says danger, keep out. So we're not gonna go in there, but that's pretty cool. That's where the water goes down through a tunnel. No, what? Yeah, the water goes through a tunnel to Mary's Lake and then Lake Estes. We're gonna go check it out, okay? Yeah. Come on. Look at these flowers. So tangled. Mm hmm. So this whole project is called the Colorado Big Thompson Project and it is an outstanding engineering achievement in the development and use of precious and vital resource water through a system of storage and regulating reservoirs, a trans mountain diversion tunnel, power plants, siphons, pumping plants, canals, and tunnels. Water is utilized to the fullest extent. The water is collected and stored west of the Continental Divide in Willow Creek Reservoir in Lake Granby and then pumped into a shadow mountain lake where it flows by gravity through Grand Lake in the 13.1 mile Alva B. Adams Tunnel under the Continental Divide to the plains east of the Rockies. So look, the, the Colorado River comes over here and fills in the reservoirs over here in Shadow Mountain, Shadow Mountain Lake and Lake Granby. And then it's pumped through the mountains, through this Alva B. Adams Tunnel. It ends up over here at Lake Estes 
and then it's fed into different water systems to Carter Lake, Horse Tooth Reservoir, and the Big Thompson River. How about that? Yeah. Well, the storm isn't going to let up, but this is the location where the water flows down into this lake, Mary's Lake. From the east portal where we just were, it flows and is held into this lake. From here, it flows down to Lake Estes, which we'll head to next. There's also a little power plant where they use for the hydroelectric power system, and they use it to send electricity to the surrounding area. So let's head down to Lake Estes, and we're going to check that out, go to the power plant there, and then we'll head over to Flat Iron Reservoir. We're here at Lake Estes, and this is the power plant right here in the background. And over here in the back, this is the inlet where the water flows down from Mary's Lake into the beginning of Lake Estes. And this is the holding reservoir where the water is then sent down the Big Thompson River and then pumped through a tunnel system over to Flat Iron Reservoir. Here's the power plant at Lake Estes. And this power plant is powered by the water flow that comes down from the water from Mary's Lake through the tunnel system. So this is powered by a hydroelectric power plant down here at the end of the lake. All right, so this is the bottom of Lake Estes, and this is where the water actually flows out into the Big Thompson River. So this would be the, the beginning of the Big Thompson River flowing out of Lake Estes. There's also a pipe system that sends the water from here at Lake Estes to Flat Iron Reservoir, where it makes a couple stops on the way, but, but ultimately it goes to Flat Iron Reservoir. And there's a power station there, and from there the water is sent either to Carter Lake or Horse Tooth Reservoir to the north. And we'll stop by there and check that out next. All right, let's head over to Flat Iron Reservoir. All right, so we're here at uh, Flat Iron Reservoir. And this is the power plant behind me. You can't see it very well because I can't get very close. But up here on the ridge of this mountain, you can see the pipe. Hopefully it shows up in the video, but there's the water pipe that flows down the mountain here. And there's a hydroelectric power plant station and the water dumps into the reservoir right here. And this is the reservoir. And at the end of the reservoir either goes to Carter Lake on the other side of this ridge or goes up to the north to Horse Tooth Reservoir. This is the canal system that actually leaves Flat Iron Reservoir that I told you about that goes to Horse Tooth Reservoir. And it just flows through here, through gravity, through this underground canal system that goes in and out of the mountains all the way to Horse Tooth Reservoir. So that's pretty cool. Right here it's actually exposed, but it goes in and out of the mountains all the way to Horse Tooth Reservoir. There's a rattlesnake in there somewhere. This is Carter Lake, which is filled with the water that comes from the Colorado River. On the western slope, in Grand Lake, and then pumped through the mountains, 13 miles, 
all the way to the eastern portal, down to Lake Estes, down and then down to Flatiron Reservoir, where where it's either sent here to Carter Lake on the south, or to Horsetooth Reservoir to the north, and it services all of northern Colorado. It's pretty amazing, but all of this is part of the Colorado River system. All right, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>